The file size for NBA 2K18 for the Switch is so big that you need an SD card just to play it. And that's not all. Hi guys, I'm Thomas from the Switch Stop, and this is a pretty big deal in my opinion. So, no one's really talking about this, everyone else is talking about the indie, the big indie events going on right now with like Shovel Knight and No More Heroes, but this is extremely important in my opinion. So Nintendo has come out and stated that NBA 2K18 is not able to be downloaded if you don't have a micro SD card. So I thought that was all well and good, and like, obviously it sucks, but hey, I'll just go physical. But they weren't even able to fit all of the uh, content from NBA 2K18 onto the physical cartridge. You still need to have a micro SD to download some of it to your console. Now, if you think that's like, okay, that that's pretty stupid, yeah, it is. But that's not even the worst part of it all. Nintendo came out in an interview after they announced like this partnership with SanDisk and some new SD cards. Uh, they came out with an interview saying that future Switch games are going to have this same thing. So if you're like, okay, I just don't really want to play 2K that much, so I guess I'll just pass and that's that. No, because future Switch games could have this restriction. Now, we're pretty sure that Mario Odyssey and Metroid Prime 4 and all the other Nintendo games won't have this restriction. I mean, Nintendo is really good at compressing some of their file sizes. Like, freakily good. Some of them are like, 2 gigabytes, like things that could fit on your phone. Or even like an Apple Watch. Like, they're freakily good at compressing their games. The highest one by far is Zelda Breath of the Wild with 13.7. I, I think I'm just, I, I'm doing this off memory, but uh, like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and all that stuff is 6 and under. I think Mario Rabbids is like 2.1 or 3.1. I'll put the exact file sizes up on the screen right now so you don't have to just listen to me going off memory. But yeah, as you can see, they are frequently good at compressing, so I think this is all going to be third party stuff. I mean, as we've seen, NBA 2K18 is not compressed well at all because obviously you can't even play it without an SD card. I, I just thought this was a huge problem for the Switch. Like, this story just keeps getting worse and worse. First I thought it was only the digital version of 2K, now I learned it was the full retail physical copy of 2K2, and now it can be any Switch game coming up in the future. I mean, this just really is not good. I've been coasting on by without an SD card, but looks like I'm gonna have to get one if I want to get 2K, which really sucks. So what do you guys think? Um, This is kind of just a quick update video. I think this is actually my fourth video of the day. I'll put the other three up on the screen right now. Uh, if you could go check those out and comment what you thought of them, that would be great. I'm really trying to grow this channel hard and it's actually going really well. So if you can just watch them and then comment what I can do better, like criticism is always important, especially when you have a YouTube channel this small. So thank you guys so much for watching and peace out.